Welcome back. Bingo bunga. I got my fun glasses. Alrighty. Let's rock and roll, buckaroo. So yesterday we did the teeth, and um, today we're gonna work on the lips and maybe a bit of the nose if we have time. So, <coughs> I hate this chair. Let's start with a lump of clay, as you do. Probably about that big. Now we, we want bigger. Yeah, that big. Alright, now put that aside. And then get another lump of clay. I'm gonna say... Yeah, about that big. Alright. Roll it, make sure there's no cracks. And then squeeze it between three of your fingers so you get kind of a triangle shape. Flatten one end by doing that. And then kind of taper this one down, right? So you should have kind of a kind of a triangle. Right? A weird triangle. <laughs> and then round it because you don't want it. You don't want this too pointed, right? Okay, and now um, so what I did off camera, by the way, is I don't know if you can even see it, but I took my pointy tool and I just kind of marked out where the lips are going to go. Um, so I've got it, it's going to cross over the jaws here and then go up and then curve down and then curve up again, and then mirror on the other side. And down here, it'll go, you know, across the jaws. Down here, up a little bit, and then just straight out. Right? So, get your piece that you shaped into kind of a weird triangle, and put that at the top here. And actually, that's far too long. So, what I'm going to do is find out where I put my knife. There it is. And I'm actually going to cut this in half. may have been too much, but one thing at a time, you know? Yeah, and then just stick it on the end of the snout. And what I'm going for is he's gonna be uh, kind of snarling a bit, like a bear. Like, you see how this guy's got his, uh, his mouth going, like, a bit like that, instead of, like, tight against his, uh, his teeth. And I did the same thing on this guy. You see how this goes out? I think I made it go out too far on this dragon, but whatever, you know? Come on, sonny. Right. So you're just gonna you're just gonna squish it and then shape it so that it's pointed, um, you know, centered on the skull, obviously. And then you want the bottom line 
to fall in line with where you want the lips to go. Okay. And then grab yourself some kind of blender tool. I'm going to use my silicon pointy boy. And then blend the top bit. All right, you don't want to blend this part, but you do want to blend here and then down the other side as well. Excuse me, my darling. then you can use your fingers to gently mush it, make it look more natural. Okay. Now, pick up that larger piece of clay that you had, and you're going to roll it into a very thin noodle. And this is going to be way too much, technically, but it's always good to have extra If it's not too much, and I miscalculated, then I'm an idiot. But I think we'll have plenty of extra. And you want to make sure that it's roughly, at least, um, approximately the same width, the whole length of it. Now, if you had the patience, you could get one of these tools, put, load a bunch of clay, in the chamber, and then you just push it out and it comes out to whatever size you have the um, plate loaded in. But I hate using that tool, it makes a mess, and stuff always gets stuck in the chamber, so I'm not going to use it. Well, now I've got some white clay mixed in. Now it all bakes at the same temp. Okay, I'd say that's about good, but is that still too thick? Let me just do a test fit. Yeah, I think that's too thick. So, we'll make it even thinner, very carefully. And yeah, I think I'm going to have extra. Okay, I'm bored. So, you're going to start at the bottom corner of the piece you just attached and just kind of press it on there. He's got a mustache. <laughs> All right, now follow the line, putting the bottom of this noodle right where that line that you marked for the lips is going to go. And just gently press it on there. Don't press too hard because you may need to adjust it. And oh, you know what? Because I have to bridge such a larger gap there, I'm going to grab some more pieces of clay. Yeah, about this big. 
No. About this big, cut it in half. Roll it into kind of a triangle, kind of a maggoty shape. And I'm just going to press it on there to reinforce where this noodle is going to go. All right. Blend that in. And it's going to be tricky, but you also have to blend in on the inside. At least as much as you can reach. And you gotta blend to the gums. And then you'll do the same on the other side. Gonna be able to see this anyway, so I apologize. I've also got to texture the tongue, but I'm not sure how I want to do that, so I'm going to put that off. Right. Back to business. Come on, stick. If I didn't want you to stick, you wouldn't let go, you little twerp. That's it. Now, as for the bottom, we're actually going to cut this off right after this larger tooth, right? And to do that, I'm just going to use my tweezers, because that's delicate, and just snip it off. And press it on very lightly, because you may need to peel it back in a minute. Um, but for now, just do what you just did on the other side. You know, start at this corner and try to mirror what you did with this guy. Now 
Now, it doesn't have to be perfectly mirrored, but it should be very, very close. Oopsies. I broke a tooth. nudge a tooth out of alignment, usually you can just very carefully reach in there and pinch and squeeze and pull, and it'll fall back into place. But you gotta be very, you gotta be very, very gentle. Okay. Tweezers. Snip. Yeah. Look at all that extra. Okay, now for the bottom, we're gonna do something kind of similar to this piece up here, except smaller. So I'm gonna say, yeah, about that big. And same deal, finger here, squeeze it into a triangle. Now, <laughs> I gotta figure out how to position both the dragon and the camera so you can see. that we'll have to do. Okay, now get your triangle, make sure you put one of the flat sides facing up, and then just kind of center it on those middle two teeth. You might be able to see, but I can't. And then reposition these pieces so that they join up with um, that piece you just put on there, the triangle. Did you hear that crack? That was my knee. All right. Um, now from here, we're gonna blend. webcam is sliding off. I guess that'll happen when you're fiddling with it so much. Okay, so um, where was I? Blending. Okay, so you don't want to blend the inside edge, but you do want to blend the outside. Be careful not to drag it too much, because otherwise you'll drag it completely out of position.
you do want to blend underneath. From this piece to that piece. Very gentle. While I'm here, may as well do the other side. be especially careful when you're blending here because remember there's nothing um, behind this piece so don't put too much pressure on it speaking of blending I did a crappy job blending that support piece We're going to put more stuff over it anyway, so it doesn't matter that much, but still. It's a shame. Okay, now I'm gonna blend, do the same thing I did up here, blending the thin noodle to the triangle. Very careful. Okay, now you're also going to blend the other side. Idiot. Another idiot. Yeah, I can't really show you. But it's the same principle. Um, blend the top, not the bottom. Don't put too much pressure on it. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I watched the House of the Dragon finale last night. God damn. Boy got fucking chomped. I'm sorry, this is not a uh, helpful view. But I 
assure you I'm just doing the same thing that I did on the other side. Day. Now, what we're actually going to do is carve out some of this support stuff that we just put in. Um, what tool do I want for that? I suppose this one. just near the tip of it so that we can blend it to the lips, right? Oops. Right, I'd say that's good enough on that side. Now, try to blend, oops to blend these two together. Yeah, that's it. You still want the lips to be separate from the gums. So if you did what I did and accidentally blended to the gums, just carefully carve out a line. Yeah. And then do the same thing on this side. good as it is. Okay, now blend. Keep an eye on your lips too, make sure they're not going outwards. That would look kind of silly, I should imagine. Yeah, that's good enough, I think. Right. Right. Up next, what are we doing next? Ah, yes. Now, we're going to use the same carving tool to carve out here and if we can flip this around, use my left hand, here, okay, and then very carefully I'm going to use tweezers, remove these chunks, it's okay if you scratch this piece since we're going to be working with it anyway, but try to avoid scratching the gums. 
near it. Please. Thank you. All right. Now get a large of the small collection of the uh, silver ball tools and blend it. Just smooth it out. And it's okay that this connects to the gums because these are technically the lips. And then, you know what, let me look at that bear picture again. Oh yeah, that's very informative. <laughs> Whatever. Alright. I'm gonna separate this right here. Round this over so that it doesn't look so square and flat. And then very carefully squeeze these to round them over. And Bingo was his name -o. All right, now you're gonna do kind of the same thing on the bottom. Can I get you looking down there? That'll have to do. First of all, is that blended? I do not think that it is. So carve out two little divots. I think I just messed up the gums there. That's not that's not ideal, I'll be honest. <clears throat> and then smooth it over. I'm also pressing down to make these deeper, because I didn't go deep enough. I actually don't think I made this piece big enough. You know what I'm gonna do? Make it bigger. Alright. So, uh, to do that, I'm going to make a wide, flat-ish triangle, and just press it on top. I'm using my fingers to blend it on the other side, hopefully. And blend it here with the silicone. Gentle mush with my finger. That's better. Okay, now, get your carving tool. Blend. 
blend it in, blend the ends to the gums. Steak. I blended too much on this side, so I'm just going to go in with a pointer and separate it. No problem. Alrighty, what next? What next, indeed. Next, we drink. Ah, you know what? Let's work on the tongue. I think what I'm gonna do is use the same texture for the scales because, well, that's the tool that I have. Um, what I did was I took a bit of a soda can, cut it up into a rectangle about that wide and that long. Um, where did I? No, that was the other one. Uh, so that wide and that long. And um, I just kind of cut it and rolled a piece of it into a very thin cylinder. You can't see it, but this has a hole in it, so it's going to be like cutting out holes. And hopefully they will look like taste buds on the tongue and scales on the skin. <laughs> so I'm just going to repeatedly thump the tongue while being very careful not to nudge the roof of the mouth. I'm only doing the top of the tongue. Because if you think about it, that's where your taste buds are. Before I go any further, I'm going to add just a little bit to the tongue, like 
on the tips here. Make it a little bit longer. mush it on there and I can shape it after it's blended. I probably added too much, but like I said, I can shape it how I see fit and I can always take more off. Oh, I am so sorry, darling. So trying to flatten out the tips. Sorry, tooth. How's that? Yeah, I think that's much better. Okay, day. Finish texturing. Make sure if you're texturing your tongue um, that you put your finger underneath the tips to support it.
Lovely. Not that you can even see it. Regrettably. I'm also going to put some pears on it. But I'm not sure what direction. I guess it would go that way, probably. Yeah. Um, so I've got some tweezers and I'm just gonna kinda squeeze along the edge. So that's where I'm putting them. This side's gonna be even harder to do because of this damned wing. No offense, sweetheart. Sorry, had an itchy nose. These uh, very dense hairs, which are going to be the same texture as the scales, <laughs> they are for licking the hide off of prey. And I'm gonna 
gonna say that's good, except for this piece, which I have to blend and then retexture with the soda can. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna put a few stray taste buds along the edge here, just for texture. And do the same on the other side. Clear. Okay, now what's next? Probably the nose, I should think. Yeah. Now what kind of nose do we want? Do we want just a normal nose or a pointy nose, a nose with a horn? I'm gonna go with the, just a normal-ish nose. So I'm gonna say get a lump of clay about that big, split it in half as exact as you can get it. Put one aside. Um, shape it kind of like a teardrop, and then put the pointed end towards the snout where your nostril is going to be. I'm just going to slap it on there, any old place, for now, and then do the same thing for the other side. Teardrop, look at it head on to make sure you're positioning it evenly. see it better. Why? Yeah, that's good. Okay, now get a blender and blend all edges of it. Corner is going to need one of these. Yeah. Okay, now just kind of smooth it with your finger so it doesn't look so so much like a pod sitting on top of its snout. It should look part of it, like it's coming out of the snout. I guess a silicon paint pointy thing. That'll do. And then put the point towards the snout on top of the teardrop, but not at the edge, all right? You want to put it somewhere like a third of the way in and then just press down.
same thing on the other side. Great. Now, use your fingers to kind of pull down the top bit and push up the bottom. Sort of pinch that closed, not all the way closed, obviously. Okay, and now I'm going to use my dental tool thing that has the flared edge. And I'm going to press down on the bottom to separate that into kind of two. There's a gnat. Anyway, two different uh, pieces. Then I'm going to reach behind that and pull it up while also pressing in. And then this is not turning out how I want it to. There we go. that'll do. Do the same thing on the other side. And that's all we're going to do for this episode. Hopefully one of these days I'll get a better webcam and you can actually see what I'm doing. Until then, bye -a.